Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Tell Me Yours, a storytelling podcast with me, your host, Trey Everett. Hello and welcome to another episode of Tell Me Yours, a storytelling podcast with me, your host, Trey. Today on the pod, I have such a treat for you. Uh, my guest today is a hilarious comedian, a, an incredibly talented actress, and she was 2021's Vulture Comedian You Should Know and Will. Please welcome to the pod, Hannah Pelkis. I realized if I'm f- Valentine's night, with my, I was like, I want to look cute. We're going to this like dance thing. I was unkind. I was like, oh, I... If I'm not warm enough, I'm not a good person. I so, love it so much. So I was like, I was oh like god, so irritable. So I was like, we didn't even get a lift. Like I truly was like, oh my god, I, I didn't even know I possessed that. So I had to go get the coats to keep my love alive. Yeah, I it was wild. unkind. I love that. It was wild. Any particular reason that you made the move, or was this something you've always wanted to do, or? Uh, my fiance is going to NYU for cinema studies. He's getting his master's. Um, oh, yeah, excuse NBD. me. <laughs> and I'm like, wah wah wah, comedy. <laughs> but but we, I also grew up here, and so oh, cool. when he was looking at schools, it was kind of like LA or here, and we were hoping, you know, to get to experience it here, kind yeah. of like before. I don't want to have a family for like a long time, but eventually, mm-hmm. and I I feel like. I grew up in New York, actually, but I would like the space of L.A., I think, or even just California. So this felt like a good pocket of time to do this. Nice. Yeah. Well, that's really, really cool. I I mean, I love New York City, but like who doesn't love New York City? So yeah, I mean, especially when you if you can outlast the weather, you know, if you, you just you have to be smart about living here, like. You have to go out for the two hours of sunlight each day. Otherwise, like I notice, and also just the live comedy here is amazing. And mm-hmm. so that's been really nice. Um, but yeah, I think Omicron's definitely like fucked with everybody mentally. Cause I was for like sure. in a really good rhythm and then took six weeks off just because it just didn't feel responsible to perform. So I finally started again this week and I'm starting to feel like human again. Cool. Um, but Very when you, cool. you know, if you stop and go with anything, it just, you're like, do yeah. I like this thing? I'm nervous yeah. again. You know, <laughs> it's stressful. Are you, yeah, sorry, absolutely. are you LA based? Yeah, I'm based in LA. Every time I go back, I'm like, oh, I miss LA. But every time I'm here, I'm like, I, I could never be anywhere else. So it's, yeah. Yeah. And I'd imagine like with LA as spread out as it is, it's probably like more difficult if you wanted to do multiple spots in one night. Whereas in New York, you could walk a block away or take a subway a couple blocks away and then you're like at a new spot where you can go up and- (laughs) And I think that incentivizes me to say yes to shows because so much of my day is spent writing or like in Zoom meetings or wearing wigs, sedentary at home, like like a psycho. It's a wonder that I'm engaged. (laughs) But like, I'm like, okay, well, if I do this show in Brooklyn, I will probably walk three miles total even with the subway. So I'm like, I'll get my steps in. I will leave the house. Um, whereas I do feel like sometimes in LA when I'd say yes to shows, I was like, well, I'm riding, riding, getting in my car, getting out for two seconds, performing, getting in my car. And yeah, so yeah, I yeah. do feel like my, my body's moving more here. And that helps me say yes to things for sure. Simply just to like, okay, I'll interact with humans <laughs> for two hours tonight. <laughs> Um, and then go yeah. back to the hole that is my apartment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man, that's yeah. so funny. Um, I love that. Yeah. Uh, well, I, that's all awesome. I'm excited for you, uh, even just to kind of like be back to your roots, I think is is cool and exciting and to be able yeah. to continue to like build that community. Um, and thank you again for doing this. <gasps> yes, Which brings totally. me to the reason why we're connecting today is because yes. you're going to tell me a story. Yes, I'm excited. Um, the one I chose is like... Um, <laughs> like a high point in childhood does that work perfect it's okay it's perfect already <laughs> okay great and do i just jump in you or... can you can take it away <laughs> okay so i was re- i was reminded of this story walking home the other day from a show i passed this what used to be this sort of cavernous restaurant and is now an office building and i was okay. reminded of having dinner there at age seven and that okay. it was like one of okay. the biggest moments of my life so Back in time. I'm not going to tell you my age. I'm 29. But uh, but, <laughs> but I was so I was seven. So what was that? Like late 90s. Um, oh, we, my God. I had just moved from New York to the suburbs of Philly. Okay. Um, and that was like a huge 
change huge I'd move. imagine for, yeah. for me easier to do i have a, a sister who's seven years older and she was like i'm a new yorker like how dare you take this from me um and i was like you can still tell your friends you're from new york like yeah, yeah, she was yeah. a freshman in high school and it was just like really we're gonna live in the burbs now i'm gonna oh be my God. you know but so I would come back into the city ever so often to visit one of my still best friends, Audrey, um, who I'd gone to K through second grade with um, at cool. PS 199. Nice. And, um, <laughs> and we'd have like a weekend of slumber parties and it was so fun. And I, I just, I think my mom would drive me in or I'd take the train, probably age seven, my mom drove me in. God bless her, drove two and a half hours in. To oh my. The things uh, that, that like, good parents do is oh my god wild yeah well and i was a child actor and my sweet sweet mom would drive me like up to three times a week from from two two hours without traffic so usually three hours one way we'd go to chelsea pierce i'd audition for law and order or whatever we'd have a bite a grace papaya hot dog when nice. i was still eating meat and then we would drive our ass three hours back yeah and like I insane. cannot believe that she did that for me. I mean, it's insane. Yeah. And we did stop because we were the worst versions of ourselves doing that yeah. often. It was like, <laughs> you know, no one's I meant to I was unkind. <laughs> I, wa I was the same how I am in winter. I was I unkind. I love that. That's so funny. Um, but so, okay. So was visiting Audrey and we were big Survivor fans at the time. Okay. So this was this was right off the heels of season two of Survivor. Okay, early on. That really yeah. ages me, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but I've already said my age, so it's okay. Even though you weren't going to. <laughs> I wasn't going to, and then moments later I did. Um, and that's what you can expect from me. I'm just sort of this big wild card. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah, it's wonderful. This big, tall wild card. So... <laughs> So Audrey's mom told us that they were having a competition. I think it was at Madison Square Park or Washington Square, Washington Square Park. Okay. Um, to win a dinner date with Colby, who is the runner up of season two of Survivor. And when we heard that, we squealed, That's we jumped around. So specific. <laughs> okay, let me paint the picture. Colby had dimples that you just wanted to dive into. Colby had these sparkling oh, teeth in it. Oh, man. I remember, and I'll get, later get to, I asked him a lot about those teeth because I was like, no. how'd you keep them so no. white during Survivor? <laughs> um, you know, because I feel like at seven years old, I already had like coffee yeah. resin on my teeth. <laughs> I'm like, Colby, how do you keep those pearly whites? <laughs> so we found out about this competition. We were so excited. We're like, we have to go. We're going to get the date. Uh, well, naturally. Yeah, absolutely. Of so I, I, we got cute outfits on. We're like overalls, probably, oh, probably like God. dressed like Olsen twins, <laughs> um, <laughs> ready in a New York minute. And we made our way to Washington Square Park. And there's flo people flocked to this. I mean, this must have been Colby's, Colby, was, it was like when was you're the Colby Bachelor. from season two of Survivor. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, but you know how like the person that was the Bachelorette six years ago is kind of like past her prime now, but yeah. they're for like a two year window, even yeah, maybe a year and a half, it's like, yeah, absolutely. 200,000 likes. And but I, to be fair, this was before social media, really. So I think, but to, to me, that actually even makes it like more of a big deal. Because like, the fact that like they yeah. would just hear word of mouth. That, yeah. yeah. And it was like, those cable shows you tuned into you know that was yeah. like you watched friends when it was on will and grace like that was like sitcom and reality show uh -huh. peak for me uh -huh. um so okay so <laughs> it was all single women heterosexual single women um trying to date colby that were adults and me and audrey oh, <laughs> there, no. there were no children and like these are like horned up women they yeah. were they were like <laughs> We're going to date, you know, I mean, and we, I thought, I thought, well, it's just as likely that we could date Colby. So we really felt like we were on even playing ground. So the way to win the date was you had to do a series of survivor oh, challenges. No. Um, and so I just remember it was so entertaining watching these women just sort of like really put it all out there. It felt like, I don't know if you've ever watched The Bachelor. I stopped watching because it just was like so hard to stomach. But yeah, yeah, yeah. the challenges that they have them do, they have them like wrestle each other in jello and they have them like, <laughs> it's just so degrading and gross. Yes, and yeah. like to do a basketball challenge and he's like, 
I know whoever whoever scores the most points is the one that loves me the most. Like, there's like no, it doesn't equate to anything in like actual relationships, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like such <laughs> bullshit. As if like when you're we're dating people, we're like, why just to make sure that they would score yeah, points for me? I, yeah, I just need you to 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 make these five shots in a yeah, row. Yeah, can you play some flag then, football really quick? Yeah, and... Look, if you can't go around the world, you're not going around my heart. <laughs> yeah, okay? can you circumnavigate the globe and then come back to me? <laughs> um, so here I'm trying to. So the challenges were so dumb. They were playing game playing hoops uh trying to make you know the game i think that game pig where you try to make your way okay, around yeah yeah, yeah 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 um i remember there was like a game where you had to quickly change in and out of clothes real survivalist skills yeah. here. oh yeah <laughs> but evidently we were doing pretty well and we <laughs> we passed the first round and oh now we're in God. the semifinals, and i'm sure these women are pissed well yeah there's we're... two children <laughs> yeah <laughs> If you were if you were your age right now and you were gonna go do this and you saw oh. two fucking kids that were like neck and neck in the standings, I would be pissed. I'd be I'd be like, this should not be allowed. And also, I feel like in today's world, they'd be like, we're not gonna have a seven year old yeah, compete yeah. for Where a are date. Your parents, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Our parents were right there watching. That is no, so my parents were in Philly at the time. Funny. Audrey's mom was watching. So okay, this so this is a grown ass man. You're a I child. Know. <laughs> I bet he was so. Oh my god, I swoon. So oh my gosh, that is so <laughs> funny. So we get to the semifinals, and now it's trivia. There's like some <laughs> questions. Uh, again, seven year old versus thirty and up, or yeah. twenty and up. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, so I remember the first question was, what is, what is a baby kangaroo called? And I knew it. I was like a Joey. And so then we got to the finals oh where it's just, it's just me and Audrey versus one other girl. Um, oh and the final question... I would give anything to be in the crowd at this point, oh by my, the way. Like, like I would give on? any amount of money to have admission going... to this show. Because you know everyone is fucking rooting for the kids at this point. Yeah. And you know that the other women can feel that. And they're, like, yeah. so bitter about it. Um, I'm, like, fully, like, I feel like the term cock block started oh my God. this day. You invented it that day. Yeah. Uh, I invented it. We were just, like, really cute. <laughs> So, okay, so the last question was, what is the longest river in the world? <laughs> and all I knew rivers wise were just like rivers in Pennsylvania, <laughs> because I had just done a state test. So I was like, what is the Susquehanna River? <laughs> I don't know if you knew is not the longest river, probably even in Pennsylvania. So I think it's the Nile. I, that's what my gut would say, but I genuinely don't know. Or the I think it was Amazon, the Nile. No the Amazon, yeah. So she, we'll look that up later. Um, so, so she says the correct answer, Amazon or Nile, and we're done. And I wasn't gonna go down that easy. Oh man. So Q Waterworks. So oh, no. I'm in front of probably a thousand people in the park, wailing, and I'm like, it's fine. It's totally fine. I. And everyone's going, oh, oh no. And I'm like, no, it isn't. And they're about to take me off the stage. And I'm like, really getting worked up. And Colby says, it's okay. We can all go on the date. Oh no. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Immediately tears done. <laughs> Oscar winning performance. That girl oh. is living. Yeah. You can yeah. see it in her eyes. She's like, great. So we have to share the date because Miss Pilkis over here had to pull out her mo oh, Oscar winning monologue. Oh my God. And so, so we're like, the news outlets are coming up. We're like, yeah, we're going on a date. It's really, I said this, that's my Hannah. Ah, I'm so great. Like <laughs> the, this poor girl who won fair and square is completely getting out shined by oh my us. God. So then we're getting right. So we have to get ready for the date. So the date's at this beautiful restaurant near Washington Square Park. We go and buy, we, we buy new outfits. We buy dresses. I call my mom. I'm like, get in the car. <laughs> She's in Philly. I go, get in the car, drive to New York. We're going on a date with Colby. <laughs> she goes, losing her mind. She goes, okay. She brings my mom, my dad, my sister. Audrey brings 
her mom, her dad, her brother. Like, I don't think because of oh course we need like guardians. God. But I'm, yeah, again, because again, wanna, you're fucking children. Seven. I want to <laughs> remind you that this girl probably imagined that it would be like her and Colby at a sweet two seater with like yeah. candles. So now this is a farm style <laughs> table of like fifteen. We go and buy him a bouquet of flowers. And I'm freaking out. I'm like, I might be on a date with my husband tonight. Oh I mean, my that's, God. <laughs> I'm so convinced that like, he probably said yes to all of us going because he's in love with me. Like Naturally. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. Because you uh, lost. So why else lost, would he I want go, you there? I yeah. Go, that's a little, hmm. It's a little suspect. Yeah. Go, okay. So <laughs> you're not being so subtle. I oh know what you want. <laughs> so I'm fully convinced that there's a chance um oh, i don't know what the chance is God. but so we walk we t- there's we ha- I, i'll send it to you there's this photo of us outside the restaurant holding our bouquets oh my God. <laughs> and we're so small <laughs> we're like the size of a dime our bouquets are the same size as us also how cute for us to present him flowers uh, yeah apps <laughs> like so cute so cute <laughs> so we all come in my whole you know his pr team the girl, my family, her family, him, and the whole date, it's just us talking to him. I mean, she's, uh, and she's situated, like, at the end of the yeah, table. She can she's, barely, like, stuck talking she to your even, cousin. Who's exactly. <laughs> she's like, so, uh, what elementary school do they go to? You know? Yeah. Oh, my God. She's so pissed. <clears throat> and um, I, got, I got to ask him all the questions. You know, how do you guys do laundry? The river. You know, how do you, how do you keep your teeth so white? He's like, I want a toothbrush and a challenge. We're asking him, we're getting all the tea. His teeth are so beautiful. I just remember I couldn't stop looking at his beautiful teeth. <laughs> he was so handsome and he like was just bronzed all year long. He just like looked like sun-kissed and gore. Like he just looked like he'd always been fresh off of a lovely like 10 mile run. Just this <laughs> rosy cheeks. I mean, I was like, it was a real sexual awakening happening at the table. <laughs> He's so hot. And, but it's so funny because, so, okay. So we have the day, we, the, whatever. Best day of night of my life. It's like yeah, magical. Sure. And as we're saying goodbye, I can see that the woman's now going to go have a drink with him at the bar. So I'm like, okay, great. Cool. They'll actually be able to do what adults do. For sure. Yeah, for <laughs> Sit sure. Sit and have an old fashioned. But it was like, I felt famous. I felt, I mean, it was, I felt horned up. I mean, all yeah. the things. My family was so, because truly there was no show we were bigger fans of at the time than Survivor. That's cool, I haven't watched yeah. a season since, but the follow-up to that is. I mean, I don't think you need to watch it anymore. Like, you I don't, it. I think I kind of got you what I needed. You Survivor, yeah. I, well, I, I mean, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I won the heart of Colby. So I, so a few months ago, I was like, Colby like oh no I found that old photo and I was like I wonder what Colby's up to oh, no. and so I followed him on Instagram and I am not attracted to Colby anymore oh, no. <laughs> well he's kind of like gun toting he seems oh, like a Republican he seems to love to yeah. hunt there's just we're not I don't think we're a match anymore you've just grown apart you know what I mean you've just and grown you know apart. I think people come into your life for a reason a season or a lifetime <laughs> and I think I think he came into my life for a reason, and that was for me to learn how to masturbate. There you go. There you go. And for um, that, Colby, we and thank for that, you. Yeah. And if he's listening. And um, we know thanks. he is. Colby, <laughs> if you're out there, and we know but you're I, listening. He's married. He's got a gaggle of kids. They're beautiful. Oh and, you know, God. he's living his life. We just sort of see the world differently, and that's totally fine. Yeah. But, um,. <laughs> But like, what an insane, even I was just thinking about like how weird that crazy that must have been to have that like super fame at the time yeah. and just, and then just like lead a normal life now. And, you know, yeah. Oh my gosh. I that's think, my story. Like, I It's that's perfect. That's like the most perfect story ever that exists in it all wild? stories. It's amazing. I also uh, love like the little detail about like, you're a seven year old, you're in the city and you call your parents and say, come here we're having dinner with this celebrity yeah, and your and parents and your parents just go yeah okay no, we're like we're loading up the car and i think i mean there were no we were we were out in public we, it was too far away to go to the apartment so i think i called on a payphone because oh there were, and we didn't have a cell phone so i call i'm like i'm like ring ring put the quarter in get this on my payphone 
shaking. Yeah. I'm like, you're, and I'm seven. And I know at seven, I thought I was 30. Like I've always yeah, thought I was an adult. Sure, I've yeah. never, I've always been like, all oh, the adults menu thanks. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I would be, I would be surprised if I'm like, cheese. yeah, <laughs> all the adults menu. All of an adult like, size mm, chicken nuggets. <laughs> yes, none of this looks good. I'll have the chicken nuggets. <laughs> no, I was so that kid that was like, my favorite foods are avocado, asparagus, and artichoke. Um, <laughs> just like, I have really, and I've been to a lot of countries. I was like, just, <laughs> yeah. Oh um, my God. But I yeah. love that so much. And then much. every, it's so funny. I, every, I've been, I passed that building the other day and it was like, not every memory sticks with you, but every detail of that day sticks That's with me. That's funny. It like That's, is so vivid. It's one thing that I've loved about doing this podcast is because a lot of the stories that people tell are that story where it's like, I don't remember what I had for lunch yesterday, but I remember the way this guy's teeth glistened in the candlelight at this beautiful restaurant in New York City. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, exactly. I'm I like, love it so much. I can't remember anything else from age seven. Yeah. Uh, but it's interesting, like what core memories stick with yeah, you. Yeah, hundred percent. And even just like how memories. I love, I love being born when I was for that reason. For those old, like those those photos that are like the glossy. Yeah. There's only one of them. They're in a box, and suddenly you're reliving. There's something different about looking at those memories on a phone than looking Absolutely. at it. Absolutely. On a photo. Um, cause it what you know, we'd also have to, we were like, oh, I can't wait to get these photos developed of the, yeah, you know, cause it you was had like, to wait, you had to wait. Yeah. The fun <laughs> continues. It's like, oh my God, we had photos with him. We took, and he's so handsome in the photos and he's ducking down to smile with us. And we're, again, we're the size of a dime and he's a quarter and he's just sort of got us on either oh side. Oh my God, I his love His dimples it. that I could just yeah. bury treasures in. Honestly, also good for him. What a fucking guy. Like, Oh, I think God, that's so cool. Is he's like, no, like let's bring the kids. They're obviously so destroyed that they didn't win. Oh no! Yeah, like that's he's awesome. He's a real family man. Like that's I can so tell. Cool. I can tell that he he was such a decent, like lovely human, um, and was so sweet and patient with us. Yeah. Like probably a really good dad. Um, I'm sorry that I said that you're a gun toad. I mean, it's true. I just I'm not a big guns person, but yeah, I'm also not a own. big republican you know? person so yeah and, yeah. Then, so, hey, you know, and that's sort of the other yeah. elephant in the room um uh this is a safe space hannah <laughs> yeah actually elephant in the room republican uh, <laughs> um but uh oh, but yeah man. but yeah it was it was a magical so... oh my god and it's like one of those so things funny. that my friend audrey and i will forever have this Absolutely. like gorgeous bonding moment that yeah. And it was like such a, like, honestly, that feels like it could be a coming of age NYC kids movie of these like uh, girls meeting this, you know, and just like the journey. Yeah. And then there's um, the moment when like the distant family also starts to show up. Oh my up God. Because why were they invited? You know what I mean? <laughs> no, exactly. And also, I don't even think we asked if it was okay. I think they were I'm like, how, how many in your party were like 30? I'm so confident you did not ask no, if it was okay. It wasn't even a question. It wasn't even a question. This oh, dinner man. date turned into a full blown interview like, like of Colby. A banquet hall. Yeah. <laughs> it was a Thanksgiving dinner with Colby. Oh my god, that is so funny. Oh my god, and the restaurant I remember it was so pretty. Like it was so swank. It had super tall ceilings, and I just felt I was like, "This is it. Yeah, I've hit it big." I love that. Oh and my I don't, god. I don't know. Obviously, I don't know like the circumstance around your childhood, but I remember like I I grew up in like kind of a smaller town in Texas, so we did not have like a lot of disposable income. And so if we got to go to a nice restaurant, it was like a big deal. And totally. I, I still remember moments like that where I'm like, oh, we are oh. the tops of the city tonight. Like <laughs> the, pl the places that, yes, I thought, my, we didn't have a ton of money growing up. And so, but living in New York, everything felt like fancy. Yeah. And it was so worldly. Like my favorite restaurant was this Indian restaurant, Mitali. And, and the, the district of Indian restaurants downtown they're all like string lit with these gorgeous christmas lights and it was just like such a cool it was such an adventure to go there that's so cool and yeah the chef um it was like this open air um this glass kitchen that you could look into and the chef would invite me in and put a little chef's hat on me and i'd make pori the puffy bread and Cute. like those core memories of just and that's what made me feel i was like yeah my favorite food's samosas yeah. and like <laughs> you know um, they really made sure that I don't think I was allowed to dislike a lot of foods. I think they were That's like, fair. you live in New York, yeah. food's amazing here. 
Yeah. And there was no shortage of, I but I, the, the fancy thing that sticks with me is every Easter, we're not religious particularly, but whatever, I, a lot of people celebrate yeah. Easter just for yeah, the yeah. Yeah, fun yeah. of it. At Tavern on the Green, um, it was an Easter hat contest. So you'd have to make a hat. Oh, that's uh, cool. And we always, you know, we would like scrape our crafts together and make yeah. something really cute. But then you'd have someone that spent like five grand and had the Titanic on their yeah. head. And it was like, <laughs> But I remember there were these like gorgeous topiaries, you know, animals carved in vines and we'd have tea and small sandwiches. And I just felt so fancy. And it was like, oh, so so I wore a really a cute little sundress. I mean, getting dressed up as a kid, if if you wanted to, was the best. Yeah. I wasn't raised having to get dressed up for church or anything. So I feel Mm -hmm. like I kind of got to bypass the obligatory formality of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when I dressed up, it was like, to go to the ballet or something or to go to this sort of event and it was so fun oh my gosh I love that so much oh Mm. man that is so great what a what a yeah like what a perfect just what a perfect story and what a perfect memory just to have now yeah I know I know and it it's it's really nice when you're reminded of what something can make you feel like a kid for a second again yeah I feel like it's so easy to be especially in New York and be like, I'm cold. It feels like there's yeah. like that cynicism that is super mm-hmm. easy to, but it's nice to, it makes me want to go through old photos more just to kind of like yeah, yeah, remember, yeah. especially being in New York as a kid. It's like, it's just this, it's like the whole world's at your fingertips kind yeah, of thing. Absolutely. Um, yeah. I yeah. I love that. Oh my God. I love that yeah. so much. Um, you're wonderful. That was, that was perfect. That was great. Um, anywhere in particular, I can point people towards to find you yeah. and what you're, what you're doing and what you're working on. Yes. And- um, uh, you can plug vultures comic to watch this year, vulture slash New York mag, um, uh, or come comedian you should know. And like, just find me on Instagram or TikTok. It's just Hannah Pilkis. Um, or Twitter, but I don't really use that because that's where I'm posting show dates. Um, cool. Cause I'm going to start doing a lot in New York and hopefully like Boston and touring a little bit more. Yeah, so yeah. yeah, I love that. When oh, and I'm going to be on for- the, I'm going to be on the CW's. Would I lie to you? Coming, okay. coming soon. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just casually forget that. Yeah. <laughs> I know I keep forgetting. <laughs> I'm like, I should plug that. That's so funny. Um, mm-hmm. Congratulations on that too. That's that's really exciting. Thank you. As well. um, I'm just yeah. excited that you get like that. You're gonna like be able to start getting back up more frequently now. Like I know it's just such a fun. Like when it's good, it's so good. And I do feel like there's a real magic to the city, and and audiences are they're all like just like pretty lit too. So mm-hmm. I think they're just more likely to laugh because they're a little more inebriated because they don't have yeah. to drive you know yeah 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 um, well and so. they haven't been able to for two years and now they finally get to again yeah so, like, so going out a is... little bit yeah and yeah, as yeah. they freaking well should like we deserve it yeah. oh absolutely oh my god yeah um yeah awesome i will definitely point people towards your instagram i will Yay! i will plug that uh comics to watch which is congratulations that's so thank cool you. um yeah. Yeah, I'll plug what i lie to you and yeah thank you again Amazing. this was so great Yes, so fun. So good meeting you as well. Yeah, great to meet you. I will give you back the rest of your day. Perfect. I'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye. 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 Thank you so much for listening to today's episode. Thank you, Hannah, for sharing that wonderful tale. Um, I love memories like that. That's the best. If you want to follow along with Hannah, uh, follow her on Instagram. She is just at Hannah Pilkis. Check out the Vulture article, 2021 Comedians You Should Know. Hannah will also be featured on CW's Would I Lie to You? So be sure to check that out. I will throw links in the show notes of this episode for everything. If you want some extra time with Hannah, head over to our Patreon, patreon.com slash tellmeyours. It was so great to meet Hannah and chat with her. She's so funny. We had a great time. So head over there for some extra uh, extra conversation with Hannah. If you want to follow us, Twitter and Instagram, we are at tellmeyourspod. As always, please be sure to subscribe to this podcast, like this podcast, leave us a comment, tell us your favorite story. Maybe I'll start sharing some of those favorite stories as they start to come in. So yeah, uh, you know, maybe, maybe do that. But until next week, be kind to each other and we'll talk soon.